Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, to celebrate the baptism of the Lord. And for that, my dear brothers and sisters, we are all invited to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. With humble heart we say, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you. you. We, we bless you. you. We, we adore you. you. We, we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks for, for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten begot Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. 
Almighty ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and of the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the use of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness." The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord of glory thunders, and in his temple all say, Glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Please stand. heavens were opened and the voice of the father thundered this is my beloved son listen to him The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptizing by you, and yet you are coming to me. Jesus said to him and replied, Allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from heaven, saying, this is my beloved Son, 
with whom I am well pleased. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for the homily. Isang magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, is January 9. Very important date for us Filipinos. We celebrate today the Feast of the Black Nazarene, Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno. Sinasabi po natin ngayon, Araw ng Quiapo, ay Araw ng Nazareno. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, is the last day of Christmas in which we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. Mother, brothers, and sisters, Jesus was baptized by John. Jesus insisted to be baptized by John. We believe that Jesus is sinless because John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. Jesus did not subject for that baptism. He wants us to show the necess necessity of baptism in our lives for pouring out the Spirit of God to us to experience and to live the Spirit of God. So therefore, mother, brothers and sisters, baptism is a gift to us. It is a sacrament that we receive. And as we say, baptism is the doorstep of all sacraments which is the first that we should receive for the purpose of fulfilling our Christian life. Truly, my dear brothers and sisters, it is the beginning that we are belong to Him. By the power of baptism, we are called now the children of God. We are now bringing the true image of God who is sinless because through baptism, we are liberated from the original sin. That is why it is really important event in our lives to remember. Not only our birthday, but also our baptismal date to remember. And the question, my dear brothers and sisters, do you remember when you receive the sacrament of baptism? As Jesus said in our gospel today, allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Being baptized, my dear brothers and sisters, we receive the power to be righteous. It is rightly to remind us today that we are directly connected to Him. We are connected to God. Remember the words during the rite of baptism. I baptized you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So therefore, mother, brothers and sisters, through our baptism, we are connected to do the righteous things every day. Let us make it profound in the way we live every day. Let us make it profound in the way we live now, urgently. Baptism is our entry to share fully the incarnation of Jesus. Jesus didn't need baptism, but wanted to be baptized because would be the way which we would begin to share in his life in the communion with us, his Father, to the Spirit. He shared his baptism in order for us to profoundly change. The change is so great. It is a relationship with our Father. We are now called a children of God, my dear brothers and sisters. We are now beloved children. Kaya po ngayon sa araw na ito, sa pagbibinyag ni kay Jesus sa Ilog Hordahan, pinapaalala po sa atin ngayon ang ating kalagayan. Lahat tayo ay tunay na anak ng Diyos. 
Kaya pagkatandaan po natin palagi, mahalaga ang araw nung tayo bininyagan. Mahalaga ang araw nung tayo'y bininyagan dahil tayo'y naging tunay na anak ng Diyos. Ipinapahayag sa atin at tayo ay inaangkin ng ating Panginoon upang mamuhay tayo araw-araw na kalugod-lugod para sa Kanya. Our daily life, mother, brothers and sisters, is the way that we are in relationship to God. We need to listen to the voice of the Father telling us how much He loves us. He wants us to be with Him in eternity. Kaya po mga kapatid, ito po ang paalala sa atin. Tayo ay para sa Diyos. Tayo ay gumalaw para sa Kanya. Sa kapangyarihan ng ating pagbibinyag o pagbinyag na tinanggap sa ating buhay araw-araw, na maging ganap ito na tayo ay tunay na anak ng Diyos. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, baptism of Jesus is for us. Ibinibigay sa atin because baptism is a mission to proclaim our identity with dignity. Sa pagbibinyag, ito po ay isang misyon na dapat nating dalhin araw-araw at ating ipahayag ang tunay nating katayuan, ang ating pagkakilanlan na may karangalan. Ito po ang hinihingi sa atin ng ating Panginoon. We are called today to carry out our identity and every action that we have, always remember. Let's make it to Him. Let's make it to Jesus. This is the manifestation of our identity as a children of God. Being a children of God. Nawapo sa pagpapatuloy ng ating buhay, tapos na po ang kapanahonan ng Pasko. We end Christmas season today. Hopefully, we proclaim our identity being a children of God as we receive our identity being baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, the heavens were often as the Spirit descended upon Christ at His baptism. And prayer, we ask the Father to unseal the, fount the fountain of His blessings upon the world. And every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, like her Lord, the beloved of the Father, that his favor may always rest upon her and his spirit overshadow her with truth and power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with the work of the government, that they may serve the cause of right and strive to establish true justice on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have become lukewarm in their faith, that the spirit given in their baptism will rekindle faith and love in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and our community, that we may eagerly follow Christ's call at our baptism and establish true justice on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the departed whose memory we recall that the power of God's grace may bring them to the fullness of glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. O 
Almighty Father, by our baptism, you adopted us as your sons and daughters. Hear our prayers through that favor which rests on your beloved Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of Him, who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For in the waters of Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders of a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. By the Spirit's descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so... With the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice in once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that it is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking up the body and blood of Christ, may be God unto one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life and to praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only, only say the word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be the body and blood of Christ, keep us for eternal life.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourish with these secret gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.